What is up guys? Wraith here, Grey Bearded Gaming Society. We are going on a little road trip on our little paladin draft. Now this road trip is not going to be anywhere near as long as our oh, little bag stuff. Random, but okay. So this road trip is not going to be anywhere near as long as our last actual road trip where we hiked all the way across the continent, mostly for nothing. This time what we're going to try to do, just because we're kind of tired of Crush Bone at this point, it's, it's a good zone, it's a good experience, but as mentioned kind of last time, one thing that we've run into, you know, while peeking our head in the zone, after the server merger, uh, the zone has just been packed, kind of back to what it was before during the times that I've been able to get on right now, which makes grouping difficult, and even when you get a, you know, a pretty good group, there's lots of competition, which it's fine, it's, you know, it's generally a mark, I feel, of, of, you know, a healthy server that actually has a player base, which is nice. It means your economy goes, your buff stays going, you know, things like that keep going. And that part is great, but for someone who wants to get out and do some adventuring, it can be, you know, pretty frustrating. So what we decided to do this time is we're going to peek our head back over here into Butcher Block Mountains. We grabbed a sow. I hope it holds up for us long enough. But I remembered a, a camp, and it's a well-known camp. It's just one of the ones that I just happen to keep forgetting about is the chessboard kind of tucked away in the corner up there. I don't know how popular that camp still is. I mean, obviously there's not much of a zone modifier compared to what you'd find in trying to do the door befallen or crush bone, or maybe we might even dip across. And maybe we can try to do some yard trash potentially over in unrest. But for now, I think it's going to be a good spot to start just to kind of do something different a little bit. We'll get up there. We'll see how we do. It should be challenging, especially for us to solo because they should kind of be on level with us. I do remember the king being quite a bit bigger. So I think as long as we stay away from him, we should be in pretty good shape. But it'll just be something a little different, a little change up from, from dealing with Crushed Bone and hopefully not being trained to death constantly or what happened last time, of course, where you know we had you know, a bad time. We got the Warlord train. We ran out of the zone. We did not die, which was nice. But, of course, by the time we got back, we'd lost a player and then somebody had actually taken our camp. So it is what it is, right? We're going to move on. We're going to try this spot, see if it's open for us, maybe do some hunting there. We'll check back in here in a few minutes once I remember how to actually get to the place that I'm trying to run to. So give me a few minutes, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. We're in the butcher block. We have found our quarry, which, of course, will be the undead bishops, the undead pawns up here at the chessboard in butcher block now these guys are blue to us they should be a pretty good challenge hopefully a pretty good fight now of course the one that we'll have to, i think it's this guy right here uh, so maybe he's actually not up at the moment i think i think the king spawns like in this spot it's been a minute i think that's correct i think he spawns right about there um and of course he is way bigger than all of his friends i remember him being quite a bit tougher than his friends so we first things first let's get a buff on Let's get an arrow down range. Let's make us a friend. And let's do some combat. Now, of course, the one cool thing about these guys, of course, being as undead, is they should not run away from us. We should be able to sit here and merely thwack away without having to worry about them walking off. So we shouldn't inadvertently train ourselves with anything. So as long as we uh, keep clear of the king, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. That maybe if we get some things rolling, we might actually also be able to break out our little two-handed hammer. We'll see how we do first. I want to gauge it first with our, our good gear on and kind of see how we do. I mean, we're pulling ahead so far. Like I said, we ex expected it to be a little bit of a, of a challenge. I am okay with that. I'm you know not in some huge hurry. I remember this being a nice kind of quiet, out-of-the-way place where we're much less inclined to be randomly trained by warlords and divins and other assorted nasty orc things. So, and at the same time, we finally get some maybe some defense skill going up. I mean, we've we've tanked a couple times, right? Um, you know, for some of the crush bone groups, we've mostly just kind of done like that lobby tanking, of course, right? Where we we do the best you can, right? That's that's really what you do. You do the best that you can and try to hold aggro. But as we've already seen as well, like when already starting to run against a couple of kind of twinked up kind of characters. Makes life pretty difficult because they're hitting way harder than I do. And even with the blinding flash and the things like that, they're just, they're going to pull away from what we're able to do. 
So it's kind of nice to not have to worry about anybody but myself for a minute, and also really not even pretending to, to, you know, DPS so to speak, just being able to quietly hammer it out. Like I said, so far we're doing pretty good. I mean, we've got him about done. I'm trying to remember. Like I said I know the pawns were straight up pretty much just little warrior guys, so they, you know, we should be able to outpace them. I'm trying to remember whether the bishops were actually like necros or whether they were shadow knights. But we will finish this guy off, gain a little bit of experience. We will take it. I'm trying to remember, I think the yeah, they got the weird warbone chip things. I mean, I think we're kind of useless, but we'll find out. So we're gonna sit down, chill out for just a minute, get our stuff back. Then we're gonna pick a fight with one of these guys. Most of the rest of the board seems to be the bishops. I think that spot will be interesting to see if we get two of those. Hopefully not. But we're gonna uh, heal back up here a little bit. Then we're going to try to take out one of these guys and see what happens. We'll be right back. I'll save you the me sitting on my butt spot. All right. We're at it again. Let's, uh oh, yep. Here comes the what we were worried about. So I was trying to focus on the pet first to kind of get him out of the way. However, and kind of them, I'm hailing him. I need to con him. He is also dark blue to us. So we might have should have conned him first because he's actually quite large. See how we do. And we are getting. So, what do we got? Got disease cloud on us. So, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that he is a, a Shadow Knight. Problem is, he's also pulling ahead from us, and that could be a serious problem. Like I said, I, I really wasn't paying attention. Should have been. Bad me, because. With the pet also being dark blue, that's one heck of a challenge here. So let's see if we can... Yeah, we are starting to fall behind. He's also hitting pretty hard. I'm getting stunned constantly. This is not going to go well. Alright. Let's see if we... Now, this little dwarf over here, I don't know. Is she gonna... Is she actually going to save us? I don't think so. I don't think she's going to actually fight these things. Nope. Alright, we're running for it. Uh, thankfully, we got the so. That's Annie still kind of changing. Damn it. This is not going to end well. We need to get to the zone, and we need to be. Oh, I feel like this guy is so fast. Like, we have a spirit of the wolf, do we not? And I am not snared. But this guy is still... Nope, 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 nope. Trying to look back, not turn around. Like, the pet is right on top of us. Where is our... It's still down from last time. Okay. This was a very ill-conceived mission... I think we're going to kick the bucket right at the zone line here. Okie dokie. So. Eh, eh, eh. Yep. And we're stunned right at the stinking zone. Oh. Okay. Are we going to die to the dot on the other side? Are we going to be able to heal ourselves fast enough? Let's not fizzle here, little dude. Alrighty, so that could have gone better. Could have gone better. Yeah. Well, we didn't lose a life. Disease cloud at least is not going to do a ton of damage to us. So it does not look like that's going to be a good spot for us after all. I'm actually betting... I'm actually betting, though, that... If we get to, like, level 14 and get our updated spells, where we have probably the Undead Blast... Of course, at that point, 
you know, it might be too small for it to kind of matter. Not going to matter. Eh. Yeah, it's easy. Well, we tried, and we failed miserably. What's the moral? Never. No, I'm duck. <laughs> so, okay. So maybe our idea for a quick adventure off the side, probably should have done a little bit more homework first, because those guys are pretty much right on par with what we're going to get done, apparently. So let's if we jump over here. What does it actually say about these guys? Do do do. We had. I said we know the king was really big. Like I said, the undead pawn. He was just like a straight little warrior guy. We did just fine against that guy. So. Okay, so the undead bishop, according to the wiki, is a necromancer, which explains why his pet was as tough as it was. You know, kind of weak on the spell casting, but still, I mean, he's he's our level. So with him and the pet being our level, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Of course, the actual, the knight is a shadow knight, so he's actually quite a bit bigger. Not quite a bit bigger. He's actually a little bigger, but of course, he'll actually harm touches. So maybe we should have done a little bit more homework going in there. I remembered the little spot from a very long time ago and thought it could be, thought it could be fun, but it uh, didn't quite work out as anticipated unfortunately but you know just again we're trying to change it pace a little bit not being uh be in the same spot in the same way all the time but you know there's there's reasons unfortunately why people go to, to some of the same places over and over again we tried to have a slightly different adventure we did get one of them down at least we managed to not kick the bucket which is always a big thing even though we came perilously close and being stunned right there at the zone line well, and I turned around about the zone, and he—they shouldn't be here, so we'll be fine. Anyway, so the the initial being stunned right at the zone line thing, of course, was just bad juju, and then trying to look back while running and actually turning around did not help the cause either, because yeah, that guy he ran us right down, surprisingly enough. So unfortunately, a failed adventure this time around can't win them all i guess what we'll probably do is we'll make kind of make a decision from here and honestly at the same time i'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out to you guys again i mean i, I know we're a small little community and the, but you know you guys tell me what you think do we go back to crush bone grind away the experience in familiar territory do we keep trying to find other adventures and being brave I mean, so we really haven't dipped over into unrest. I think we could probably do yard trash. It's you know only been 20 years since I've been there. We could probably try that out, um, you know, or some other ideas. You know, let us know down below. You know, what do you guys think? We're we're in a tough little range for a little paladin in the solo world, unfortunately, because we don't heal very well. We don't get our mana back very efficiently. We are knocking on the door at least to meditate, which will help with one of those problems. And at 14, we do get some new spells, but. Unfortunately, failed adventure. Fortunately, we didn't lose a life. And I'm very eager to know what you guys think about some future adventuring. Should we just grind it out in Crushbone? Should we hit the road for some adventures? Are there some other secret squirrel spots that you don't mind giving up that you think could be a good spot for a little trapped in here to get some experience? But having said that, this time around, I don't want to talk for too long. We're going to be sitting for a while to get back all of our health and mana. We'll sit in a nice safe spot. And then we will try a fresh adventure next time. And we get the camera rolling. But until then, you guys, if you like what we're doing, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Again, where you want us to go, where should we adventure, what ideas do you guys got if you're doing the challenge yourselves, what kind of character do you end up with, how many lives do you have left. We're down to four. Managed to keep it that way tonight, which I will take. But pretty good spot to call it i do believe i hope everybody has a great night and we will see you guys next time